Hi guys. Welcome to How to Boil Water. Thanks for joining. Today on the show, we will be learning how to boil water. We're going to have a reduction of hydrogen mixed with um, some oxygen. I'm not sure how many parts, but we'll just play it by ear. In order to make proper boiled water the way I grew up eating it, is you have not one or two, but you're going to have three cans of corn. You're going to have one can of green beans, three cans of tuna, one entire box of chicken bouillon, two boxes of boxed Cheesy potatoes. We're gonna have some. Uh, we're gonna have some hamburger helper classic. Just a double macaroni. It's nothing special. We're gonna have some entire can of sea salt. Something. Some, some ground cinnamon. You can't get can't get away without making boiled water without ground cinnamon. One rice size. Of cheddar broccoli. Now this is really going to set it off. This is really what's going to make it. This is what's really going to make it happen. So, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to start this on medium high heat. We're gonna, first, we're going to add the hamburger helper. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to slowly. potatoes as we put in the cinnamon. See, this is key. This is a key element in this. Hold on, let me get something to stir with. Now, once you get that good, once you get that good and just softened up and just ready to go, that's when you add in all the cinnamon. And then, we're just going to let that sit and simmer for a while. Be patient. My parents always taught me you add a half can of tomato sauce. You put that right in as it starts to simmer. We're going to add some fennel now that we have a decent little temperature spice things up a little bit. Then we're going to go directly to the caraway. We're going to do a couple of shakes of that. And uh, then we're going to, whoops, whoo! <laughs> we're going to do some rosemary. You know what rosemary is. It's good for uh, growing in the ground. But we're just going to do a couple of pinches of that. This is all while we have it at a nice tight boil. A nice tight boil. We're not talking rolling, we're talking um, nice and tight. We're going to use some black pepper here. At this point in the recipe, we had an old family secret. Just to give it that nice carbonation flavor. So we're going to go directly to the garlic powder after this. Coriander seed. Pick this up at your local farmer's market. We're going to go to garlic salt. Garlic salt, oh, it's my savior. Can't have too much garlic salt, can you? Then we're going to go with um, the marjoram. The marjoram is going to add a nutty flavor at the bottom of it, but it's going to have it make it have a nice brisk finish. Then we go with sage, one pinch. Cayenne pepper. Who doesn't like cayenne pepper? Come on! That'll definitely speed up your metabolism is what it's gonna do. 
okay? Speed up your metabolism. Couldn't you lose, you lose, lose a little bit of weight, huh? Don't you think? And then we're gonna finish it off with a big, bad ass source of seasoned salt. And that's all at that temperature that we had it at earlier. And we're just gonna let that go. We're just gonna let that just make sex with itself. All that, all that food, all those flavors just, I mean, pretty much having an orgasm simultaneously in a room full of 40 people having an orgy. Need to stir it. reduction out of this. We're going to boil it down for a while. Steam is actually helping this process. Trust me on this one. What we're going to do after this is we're going to pour it into a nice family sized bowl. That is some good. I can't even tell you. Well, that's just some really good home cooking right there. That's a good family recipe. And I'll tell you what, thank you so much today for joining us on How to Boil Water. <laughs>